Guys, we're headed up to uh, Wolf Creek to ride today. Um, Wolf Creek, Utah, that is, for those of you that are uh, watching the video that may not be subscribed. Um, weather outside is blue skies, except for on the mountain that we're coming up to. Um, it's about 23 degrees. Looks like it snowed about, I don't know, maybe a foot or so on the mountain. Um, so we should have some good fresh snow to ride in, which will be awesome. Today will be my first day testing out the uh, Monster Finger Throttle and uh, riding my sled after I clean the clutch up. So uh, clutch was pretty dirty, it was having some engagement issues. Um, but you know, my ramps and everything like that are good. Everything's polished up, everything looks good. So uh, it's running like a top now. I'm excited to get on the mountain and uh, get a couple more rips in this year before uh, we're out of snow. I mean, honestly, this year has just been horrible in Utah. I think everywhere for the most part. Um, so I, I just, I want to take advantage of the time that I do have because I, I think in another month we probably, we may or may not see another snowstorm again. And by then, um, you know, the snow is going to be crusted over. It's going to be nasty. It's, it's not going to be fun to ride in. So, um, this winter has just not been awesome. So got to get it in while you can. Well, visibility is kind of horrible, but the snow is awesome. Riding is good. bad Thank <laughs> you. 
on. All right, guys, as you can see, I just smacked a tree. Um, could have been a lot worse. Uh, I was at a, going a pretty good lick there and uh, just misjudged it, to be totally honest with you. And uh, so I figured I'd give you the review on the uh, Munster Finger Throttle. And uh, well, right here, I'm checking my A-arms to make sure I didn't bend anything. Um, and luckily I didn't, so the sled was good to go. Uh, bumper did its job, deflected, and the A-arms did not bend. So good news. Um, but the finger throttle, uh, it, one thing I did notice is I was blipping the throttle, um, way more than normal, way more than, um, I normally do. And I think that was just my finger just exercising and trying to figure out, um, where my friction point was with my belt, um, where my engagement was. And, uh, I did that all day long. It, I kind of drove myself crazy to be honest. And, uh, you'll notice it as you watch the video, if you haven't already, um, where the finger throttle shines is side healing, 100% on the side healing, um, especially on the left side because your bars are counter steering to the right and so your finger throttle is just right there. Super easy to access and you've got your, your thumb wrapped around the bar so it's, it's, you have a lot more grip. Um, on the right side though, it was a little bit odd to kind of get used to because um, I'm, you, know, you just get used to that, uh, having that throttle on your thumb. And, uh, um, but I got used to it. It wasn't too bad. Um, with more practice, I'm going to get better at it. But, uh, the places I did not like it were the trail, the trail ride in the trail ride out. Uh, that kind of sucks to be honest. Um, it's just not natural to have to wrap your fingers, your hand all the way around the bars and then reach out while you're sitting. Um, when you're standing, it's fine. It's really not that big a deal. But if you got a 10 mile ride in or, you know, something like that, it's, you're going to feel it. You're definitely going to feel it. But, um, overall, after having this finger throttle for this one day, I rode for about four hours this day. Um, well, more than that, it was probably about five. I, w I don't think I'll go back. I honestly don't think I'll go back to a thumb throttle at all. Um, I do have the guard coming for this finger throttle. Um, like I said, I just forgot to order it in my video where I did the install and that will help immensely. I did hit a couple trees. Um, with my hands and uh, that did kind of blip the throttle where if it would have been on the other side of the bars, it would have been a problem. So um, here I got stuck. <laughs> I just pulled a, just a uh, beginner move here. I stopped going up a hill and I think it's really funny watching this video footage over. Um, you cannot tell how steep any of these hills are and that's just the camera angle. It just never does it justice. And uh, anyway, at this point, it was just easier just to roll the sled over than it was to try to, to go back uphill. So once I got it rolled over, I just put it on edge and, and rode out right here. So um, right here, right here is a great example of a side hill. Um, not, it's not a super steep hill by any means, but um, this is just a good example of, uh, you know, where, where your throttle position is and how I've got my, my hand all the way around the bars. And I don't have to, I don't have to think about it at all. Um, especially right here, Th this was where I was kind of nervous about hitting the throttle against some branches, like right here. Um, any, any time it got tight, like right there, I just kind of was like, eh, you know, I had to keep my, keep my head around it. But, um, you know, once I have that guard on there, I won't even think about it anymore. So left side, side hill, that is the best. It is the best thing in the world. Still getting used to the right side a little bit, but it's not a game. It's, it's not a deal breaker at all. And I don't. I don't think the, the finger throttle is necessarily a game changer, but um, for me, I won't go back to a thumb throttle, not after having that finger throttle. And guys, I apologize, I forgot to film an outro, but thanks for watching, please subscribe, give me a like, and we will see you in the next one.